Welcome to Pond Season 2 guys, it starts today. In today's video we're going to be getting a pond in the ground, I promise you that. But that's about all we're doing, okay? So for that reason, there's going to be a link for Pond Season 2 playlist down in the description of this video. Also don't forget to join the member section if you want to get all the extra content that I'm making every week on Pond Season 2 and everything else that I'm doing over here. Now, before we start, I feel like I need to cover a few things to help things make sense. A lot of the things we're gonna be doing in Pawn Season 2, specifically regarding the construction of things, might not seem like we're doing them in the best way possible, or maybe even necessarily like the right way to do them. And it all stems from the fact that we have some constraints that we have to work under. I myself don't own this house, I rent it, so that means that one day I will have to move out and everything that we do, I will have to undo, which kind of puts me in a box and literally we are working inside of a box. You're gonna see that here in just a second. But I think there is a silver lining to all this and that is that a lot of the things that we do are going to be something that you could replicate yourself if you're in a similar situation. If you live in an apartment and you don't have a backyard, then you know you can do stuff like what we did in Pond Season 1, which was make a little patio bowl or a deck pond. That was something that was really accessible to a lot of people and I think that's why it did so well. This season, we're going a little above and beyond what we did last year. Uh, I think that we're going way above and beyond what we did last year, but it's still not quite maybe exactly what would be ideal. It's hard for me to explain right now. It'll make sense as we go through this. I'm done yapping about all this stuff. I know you are too. Let's go ahead and let's go check out the space and let's get some work done. All right, so here it is guys. This is gonna be the location of Pond Season 2. So it's just right outside the back door. Fish room's in there. But uh, as you can tell, we have a pretty decent amount of space over here. So this measures eight feet to the house, and then we have about 12 feet from this corner up to here. This is just gonna be a garden space. So this is what we have to work with, and you might notice the pond from last season still chilling here. Obviously, didn't overwinter very well, but there's still some dwarf sedge down there, so we're gonna save that stuff and we'll have it available for us when we start to actually get into making ponds over here. We got the grasses trimmed down from last season, so we'll be taking these out of the pots and we'll be planting them in here. We do need to get some new lights though, these are looking a little janky. It would be nice if we could use all of this space here, the yard, it's a pretty decent size. Need to mow the grass, obviously, but, but unfortunately we can't be digging up the yard, but this kind of, dilapidated flower bed is fair game. We can do pretty much whatever we want in here. There's obviously a ton of work we need to do to this space to get it prepared for making ponds. I mean, we gotta get all this stuff out of here. That's pretty obvious, but we have all the volunteer weeds and whatnot we just need to kind of clear out. It's not gonna be the end of the world if we leave some of them, but I wanna get it cleaned up and need to do a little bit more framing in here with some more bricks, so we gotta go get some more bricks. And then we, of course, need to get started on, you know, figuring out where we want to have our ponds. But anyway, we're not just going to be putting a couple ponds in the space. We're going to actually do something else with this area. I don't want to give too much away. I don't want to, I want to keep it as a little bit of a surprise for you guys in a future episode. But it's going to be interesting. I, I don't know if it's a great idea or if it's going to end up being something that I regret. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. We are now back from Lowe's and we have our gigantic pond insert. Guys, here it is. This is, I mean, oh boy. The more that I look at this thing and really think about it, this might end up being more work than just digging like a custom pond and putting a liner in. Um, I don't know if that's the case. I feel like pond liner and the stuff you gotta put underneath it to help cushion it probably wouldn't even be as much as this cost. I mean, this was a hundred bucks. Maybe that's not true. I don't know. I'm not a pawn guy, but oh man, I don't know. Maybe this wasn't the best idea to go this route, but 
we're gonna commit, we're gonna go ahead and just do it and and see what happens. I guess that's, you know, I'll go through the trial and error and maybe that'll help you figure out for your next pawn season what the right move is. I mean, it kind of looks a little funky, like I don't really like this end. I realize that there's probably a bunch of different pawn liners uh, or preset pawns or whatever you wanna call them like this online. You can choose from, get some different styles. This is the only one that they had at Lowe's. I mean, they had a smaller one, you probably saw in that little cut there. Um, there was like a 75 gallon one it kind of looks like a bean shape this one at least looks a little bit more irregular which I like and I feel like anything weird going on with the sides once the pawns in place and we start to put rocks around the edge like we could cover this kind of shape up a little bit and we could kind of make it look more of how I want it to look we do have two shelves one over here and one over on the opposite side which I don't necessarily love like I wish they were kind of closer together but we can always go ahead and build up our own little shelves in here by just putting like you know something down for a plant pot to sit on or whatever and honestly I think when it's all said and done we get it completed there's plants everywhere there's rocks everywhere I think it's gonna end up looking just fine regardless of whatever we might think now based on the shape of the pond that we have to work with. It's finally a sunny day. We get to start work on the construction of the pond. I'm here sitting in it right now trying to take off these stickers that are of course not easy to remove. So I gotta do that first. We're gonna head out there in just a second. We're gonna break ground on this bad boy and then we're gonna talk about some other stuff that we have to prepare for. The person or machine or alien that put this sticker on here is my least favorite thing ever. Sun decided to come back out guys, so we got the pond out here. We'll try and make some quick work here before it starts raining again, but I need to figure out where I want the pond to sit within our little frame here. You can see I have just an outline here with these pavers. Still need to get everything level. That's why we have the board over here. Lay some sand down just to make sure everything is nice and level. We're not gonna elaborate as to why we need that to be the way it is. You'll see in a future episode, but I need to start thinking about where I want this pond to sit. It's shaped kind of weird and I want to have some room in the back to do planting and stuff like that. I haven't decided if I'm going to have the pond completely sit flush with where the soil level is now or if I'm just going to dig in the first part and then kind of slope the soil up because I definitely don't want, you know, when I water stuff in here for the water to run into the pond. So. We'll just have to kind of figure that out as we go. I'm gonna start by digging the first hole to get this first, uh, the bottom step of the pond into the ground. And then we'll kind of, we'll see how it is and we'll go from there. To make sure we're digging the hole in the right spot, we're gonna use some spray paint here along the very bottom and then dig that out. Let's see how we did with our shape of our hole, guys. Ugh. Okay, so clearly we need to pull a little bit more out from the sides to get that to sit, but it's close. All right, guys, the pond is in. It took a lot of trial and error pulling this thing in and out, just getting a feel for how our hole fits this thing, but now we just have to make sure the bottom is level. We're gonna pour in some leveling sand, and then we need to backfill it. We also need to make sure that the pond is sitting level, so we got a board that we're gonna put over here and then check it just to make sure, and then we can finally move on. But man, that took that took a long time. That was, that was not fun. I see why uh, people just go with the, you know, the pond liner pond instead of something like this, the insert, because this was, this was not easy.
So the pond is in, I'm just backfilling it with a ton of play sand right now, also checking the level at the same time to make sure the pond is sitting as even as possible. I think I ended up doing a pretty good job, but I mean, we're not gonna know until it's all done and it's all filled up. The lighting out here is horrible, but once we get all the sand in, then we're gonna backfill it with a little bit of the dirt that we have over here. You can see there's quite a bit of it. We're also gonna take some of that dirt and put it over here in the corner where it's a little bit lower, and then we'll eventually use some of that as well to uh, help level out the bricks that are gonna be framing in the other sides. I filled in the pond with a little bit of water here, as you can see, just to kind of weight it down and see how the bottom felt. I mean, there was a couple spots where it's a little bumpy, but I don't think it's gonna be so bad that it ends up being an issue where, you know, the insert can crack. Um, at least I don't think so right now. We'll have to just wait and see, cross our fingers, but I think I did a pretty decent job. The pond is almost full, guys. You can see we're getting pretty close. It's looking like everything turned out to be, for the most part, perfectly level. So that's really, really good. I'm happy about that. You know, as the pond was filling up, I would go around the side, check the level, and then kind of pull up, let some sand fill in there, and that would help kind of balance things out. Um, so I just want to fill this up and you know, watch it for a few days, make sure that obviously there's no leaks or anything. I had to be really careful when using the shovel around this thing, didn't want to end up piercing the insert, but I think we're good. So now we just have to kind of backfill more of this in. Again, it's gonna slope away, so when we fill this up with a ton of plants, we're not gonna have to worry about any runoff getting into the pond. So now the task is getting all of this dirt moved around into the various low spots here in our area and yeah, just kind of make things look pretty. Um, something that I didn't touch on and I will touch on it now is where we're gonna end up putting a filter for this pond. We're gonna be using a waterfall type filter and we have plenty of space over here. That's at least my idea for where I want that filter to sit. So once we move um, a bunch of dirt over there and get it a little bit more landscape, we'll have the opportunity to dig another hole and, and set that in there. So we're getting pretty close to full here. I'm gonna do another level check here really quick and then we can move on to just shoveling a bunch of dirt dang it ty lopez why you gotta turn my music off Whew. here we are a couple days later guys had to wait for the rain but check it out so what have we done well we've had the pond filled up just kind of wanted to see how it would do make sure we don't have any kind of cracks in the insert or anything it all looks good it's all flush up to the top here as you can see and I think it's I think it's gonna be good. I finished my work on the pavers, so we have a nice uh, brick paver thing all the way around, which is gonna be important for the next step of this project. There's also a bunch of potting soil down here, a few inches, so it kind of sits a little bit better here. We still need to add some more over here on the left side. And then over here, I took some extra pavers, put them vertically, so I could build up a little bit more soil because I think that we're gonna be filling up this back section with a lot of big plants, so definitely wanted that. We have our little filter over here, our waterfall weir, which is a little on the small side. I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. You know, just a little overhang here, so we'll have our pump in here at some point. That's ordered and it's on its way. I'm gonna get a Eco Plus. It's around a thousand gallons per hour. We'll see if this thing can keep up with that. Might have to make a change later on, but we'll just take the pump and run the output into the back of here and then fill this up with media. So for now, I think that's pretty much as far as we're gonna get before we hit phase two of this project. And phase two, let me tell you, is going to completely transform everything about what we're doing in this space. I'm really excited for that. Uh, the components that we need to do that have arrived. They are here, they actually showed up on the same day that the Ancient Gardens tank showed up. So just a lot of like trying to balance, you know, what do I need to be doing next for these two massive projects is crazy. But I think right now I need to get inside and I mean that tank isn't gonna escape itself. So I gotta get working on that. We're gonna press pause on this for a little bit. I'll do a few things, kind of finish out the borders over here and decide exactly what I wanna do and then we'll just hit it. 
and we'll just get this thing done. I can't wait. See you guys in part two. You're going to absolutely be blown away. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're new, hit the notification bell so you know when we get to part two of the construction here, you're not going to want to miss it. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you next time.